Greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is your friend and Bishop Michael. I pray that you and your families are all keeping well by the grace of God, even amidst the myriad challenges we continue to face as a nation and in our world today. Have you heard the good news coming out of our annual Synod 2022? We have adopted a mission action plan, appropriately abbreviated as our MAP, and it was launched on Pentecost Sunday. This map is to guide us over the next two years to become God's church that is reset, resourced, and resilient for his mission. It was developed through much prayer and reflection on the contribution submitted at last year's Synod on our church's need to address three critical areas of ministry, namely discipleship, outreach, and stewardship, what we refer to as our DOS reset. As a living document inspired by the Holy Spirit, our map, my friends, will serve as our GPS, as our compass to direct us from where we are at present, recovering from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic to where God desires us to be, fully engaged and thriving as his church in his mission. We especially hear God calling us to be a unified, missional, and resilient church, embracing, serving, transforming, and uplifting our people and our republic for him. And this will be our diocesan vision as we approach our 200th year as a diocese come July 2024. Within this vision, we are first called to be a more unified church as we acknowledge the fact that we came through some challenging times that have, in one way or the other, separated us, including the hurt and pain of our elective synod in 2018. It is therefore imperative that we open our hearts to allow God's Spirit to reconcile, heal, and bind us together with cords that cannot be broken, to be as the early church birthed by the Holy Spirit was, for Acts 2 verse 44 informs, all who believed were together and had all things in common. In other words, the early church, as probably Alison Hines would best describe it, had love and unity, was one big family, togetherness. The unified element of our vision therefore calls us to such a reset, togetherness, loving each other and working together as a cohesive body of Christ. For we are all familiar with the sayings, unity is strength, and united we stand, divided we fall. However, our vision also calls us to be more missional. This is a call to make that shift from being primarily focused on maintenance, maintenance of rituals and traditions and of status quo, and we have done it this way all the time, St. John, to being a church more focused on joining God in mission and his purpose of transforming lives and making this world a better place for you and for me and for the entire human race. It is a call to be more intentional in being better disciples to make disciples, to be a church that is relevant, relatable, all embracing and transformational, offering appropriate ministries of outreach for the given context and culture in which we are called to worship and serve, and to have the greater impact upon our nation as it now develops as a republic. In addition, my friends, the vision calls us to be a resilient church, one that is strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that we can stand the test of time as we give of our best to the master of our time, talents, and treasures. Such a call enforces our need to be more innovative, adaptable, and to use wisely and efficiently our God-given human and natural and physical and technological resources to strengthen our church to carry forward the work of Christ in our nation. For us to achieve this vision, my friends, our map identifies nine mission-critical areas that fall under the categories of our DOS reset. Under the area of discipleship, the map will direct us to being more intentional in nurturing the faith of our youth, our generations X, Y, and Z, and their involvement in ministry through creative arts. To develop an, an offer in-person and virtual intensive faith formation initiatives to deepen our spiritual growth as disciples, and to utilize more readily 
blended or indigenous forms of worship that resonate more with our Caribbean identity, and for some, is that spiritual connection and encounter with God. In the era of outreach, our map points to connect more with our communities via Fresh Expressions initiatives, a social action program within each parish to address a social need and to specialize ministries offered to the youth at risk, ex-offenders and their families. And finally, in the era of stewardship, our map speaks to hosting of health and wellness programs to promote physical, mental, and emotional wellness. The reviewing, developing, and deploying of the gifts and talents of our clergy and laity, and the reimagining of how we can use and invest our properties, our buildings, and our lands to better finance our diocese and to contribute to our nation's food security and the goal of becoming carbon free by 2030. Now, all of this, my friends, this map seeks to offer in terms of directing us to the fulfilling of the vision God has laid upon our hearts can only come to fruition when all of our parishes, when all of our organizations and ministries, when all of us as Anglicans, Christian brothers and sisters, clergy and laity work together and offer our time, talents and treasures in ministry. For God is counting on us to do just that. Our youth, our families, our people, our nation are counting on us to embrace, serve, transform their lives and circumstances and uplift them. So what are we going to do? We're going to take this journey of faith, hope and love, using our map to enable us to be a rising church to raise our nation. May God then continue to be with us as we together go forth in his name, grounded in his purpose, alive in his presence, and open to his power. God bless you all.